I'm a one person business that's trying to compete with agencies that probably have massive research teams and assistants. And honestly, there's 101 things I need to do right now. So I need AI that can take care of my deep research so I can actually focus on the real core money making tasks of my work. So I thought today I'm going to run five different prompts that I actually use day in, day out to see which is better, ChatGPT deep research or perplexity deep research. But first, let me show you something that's going to help you massively with any of the AI work you're doing. This is what I call my mega prompt chest. And honestly, there's probably nearly 100 prompts in here. And actually, we're going to be using these in today's video. But I keep everything in here for SEO work, content creation, email marketing, landing pages, competitor analysis, loads of stuff in here. And if you want to get this, there's a link in the description below where you can get this completely for free. But Today, we're going to grab some prompts out and start testing them out for deep research side by side. And we're going to start with this first one, which is all about coming up with ideas. So if you've ever wanted to start a side hustle or build an app or something like that, this is a good prompt to start with. Now, before I drop the prompts in here and start running it, I'm just going to let you know that we're using ChatGPT in dark mode in the black and perplexity in the light mode. Both are running on their pro or plus plan equivalents. So it's a fair game. Now, in chat GPT, it's very simple to turn on your deep research mode. Just hit the plus button here, hit deep research. There's also agent mode, which we'll get to in a minute. But for the purpose of most of this video, we're going to be using this deep research setting. In perplexity, it's very similar. You just scroll along the bottom here as the settings you want. We can hit research button here. There's also a labs button, which takes things a step further and allows you to start building and creating stuff but we'll get into that in a second now in perplexity we can actually select different sources so if we open up this sources button here you can see we can make sure we're searching the web obviously we need to do that we can also search academic papers search social discussions and opinions basically search reddit and finance sec filings but we're just going to stick with web search comparison for the moment and the same on chat gpt our sources we've selected web search on so this first prompt we're going to run, I want to come up with proven micro SaaS ideas, tools I can build that solve people's pain points and problems and that can be no code or vibe coded or is easily to build. And I want it to search Reddit for problems and pain points that can be solved with a micro SaaS tool. So we'll run those two prompts both in perplexity and chat GPT here. You'll see straight away from the start, you get a very different result from ChatGPT in terms of starting the search, ChatGPT always asks you three or four clarifying questions. So you need to go through and answer these. You'll know some perplexity. It just gets going and gets running straight away. But we'll need to give them both five or 10 minutes, maybe more to come back with their results because they're going through hundreds of sources here. You can see you can skip the remaining steps on perplexity and, and ChatGPT. But then if you're skipping the steps and getting fast results, you're not getting the full depth of the research. So be patient. Make sure you actually let them fully run their course. OK, so they both finished and we can see ChatGPT completed its research in five minutes, 23 sources and did 70 different searches. We can go through those in a minute. Compare that to uh, Perplexity, which finished. It doesn't actually give us a total time of how long it took here, but we can see it took 80 sources. So more than ChatGPT's 23 three so it's actually read through four times more reddit sources to actually come up with its answers and we can see the sources they've used on the right here in chat gpt and in perplexity so that's interesting that perplexity seems to go through more sources initially now we can start to see quite different reports come up in chat gpt in the dark here we've actually got Nice paragraphs of information. Maybe like I find it a little bit hard to actually pick out the specific information. Like I've got to sit and read this full report. But what I do like about it is it's pulled out quotes from people about um, family scheduling and organization is a particular problem for parents that maybe could be solved with some, some apps and software. I have to sift through here to get the information. But saying that it is in depth and it does pull them out from literally, we can see here, carpool organizing apps. You know, that is someone requesting like wanting to set up an app rather than using Google calendars. So obviously the proposed tool is a simple carpooling app and we've got a link to that Reddit thread. Now over on Perplexity, we know it went through a lot more sources. So it'd be interesting to see what comes back. What I can see is it's really easy to pick out things. It's not dumped into big paragraphs. So if you're someone that just likes bullet point information and actually Perplexity tends to run quicker research, 
So if you're wanting things to move a fast pace and easy to pick out, you know, you're a busy person, perplexity actually works really well. And we can see here all of our pain points identified within this uh, meal planning and cooking management is a particular topic it's picked out. It's actually got multiple sources that it's picked out rather than just one quote. So we can actually see actually we've got dozen, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sources, all for people having a similar pain point. Now, the big thing in SEO is your competitors. There's other people trying to rank at the top of Google. And one of the big ways to solve that problem is to be the most authoritative website. You want to provide the most in-depth information on a particular subject so that you're known as the central hub, the expert of information. And so in this prompt that we're running, it's you're an SEO specialist, analyze my website, courchevel.vip, to identify holes in topical authority coverage, compare it against this competitor website to find things they ranked for that I don't. We can see the report here, which looks a bit more broken down than our previous one, which is nice, like I can pick stuff out quickly. We ran exactly the same prompt, obviously in perplexity. And again, it's a little bit shorter, a little bit more concise, but looks like it's come back in a similar way. If I actually look at these critically in terms of the information that I know is right or wrong, I'd say like the content that it says I should be creating for my website is hit and miss on chat GPT, honestly. Luxury hotels, it says I should concentrate on doing some reviews of hotels. I agree with that. Some of these things like Michelin star restaurants, we actually have an article on Michelin star restaurants that ranks really well. At Prey Ski in Courchevel, the ski resort. If we Google that here, you'll see that actually my website comes up second on Google above the competitor that I've compared it against. So I don't know how in depth it's gone across both websites, whether it's actually looked and compared against my website or just picked out the like highest opportunities or most prominent content on one or two of these websites that I it thinks I don't have. On perplexity, it's a very similar story. The thing the information's easy to pick out, but again it's made similar sort of assumptions about my website. Neither would I rely on a hundred percent for this sort of thing. I would use it as a guide and then I would take that with a pinch of salt, add that maybe into my notes or research, and then go and check this stuff to see like, is it correct? Do we actually need this or is does this content already already exist? So you can't rely on either of these tools to create complete SEO research and plans just off their deep research function. You need to add a little bit more information or substance behind your research for this. Now, one of the things that I like to use deep research for is product comparisons. Maybe I'm trying to buy a new webcam because I'm not happy with the quality of this one for my YouTube channel. You are a consumer research analyst, giving it its role and prompting it nicely. Research 4K webcams, etc. pricing, user reviews for my YouTube channel. Now, what I like about Perplexity's answer here to this product research, and it does this quite often for other things, is it actually builds and creates charts for you in its research. So if you're someone who puts together a lot of presentation, documents, uh, content, blog content, then Perplexity will just build you charts to illustrate your data, uh, which is really nice. So the Elgato, the Instalink 360 2C, which is what we're using to film this video, which ah, the quality, I don't mind the quality, could be better, but like for $149, we're doing pretty well for a 4K webcam. Um, on ChatGPT, again, we just get this same quite long-winded report. Actually, we've got a breakdown of every webcam in depth, so I can read, you know, for us, a buying decision that's over $100, it's nice to be able to get a decent read of stuff. It's actually pulled information of other reviews on the internet so i don't have to read through these myself um and broken down pros and cons for each of these It'd be nice if we put that in a table and again the recommendation it's hard to pick out like okay well what do you recommend like come on just give me a recommendation here after your report i'm over on perplexity again we've just got the the bang 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 best choice apparently we should be using the osbot meat too whereas i bought the Instalink 360 for twenty dollars more. I maybe should have used deep research before I bought my webcam. Now for this next bit, I actually wanted to push these models a bit more and actually get them to do something with their research, um, because 
it's all very well and good having like nice long lists of information, but sometimes we actually want to create stuff. So I'm actually going to get them to code some information up for us. And we're just going to write a prompt on the fly here because I haven't really planned this out. So I'm just going to ask it really simply because who can be bothered to write a, a super long prompt sometimes? Can you build an interactive dashboard to show the results of your research? So we'll set that off in chat GPT. We're actually going to use something a little bit different in perplexity. We're going to turn on the agent mode because this is what actually allows you to create dashboard slide turn things into documents and stuff while those run we'll actually just move on to a couple of other prompts i run and this was an internal linking prompt that i like to run so when you publish a piece of content on your website or your blog you should make sure it's linked to and from other pages on your website it's really good for your seo basically says this is my website this is the page that i've just published on it can you go and find other pages on my website to link to my new page because it's really good for my seo rankings and the cool thing about ChatGPT is it gives you a really nice breakdown. It just gives you them in a nice table. It gives you the page that you should be putting your new URL link, your hyperlink, your internal link to and from. It should be linking to our new page. It even writes us a sentence where we should put the link and where we should actually hyperlink the information. So we can just go and basically copy all and paste all this stuff in and straight away we can build 20 internal links to our new blog post really really hot for our seo it's going to help our rankings a lot now on perplexity it actually does do this but it sometimes struggles a little bit i've noticed and it actually did need to even go beyond its deep research mode and we had to switch the agent mode on again and get it to use its site operator sort of desktop so it actually had to go and browse the web click through all the links read the pages and come back with the information <laughs> actually i need to stop there because it seems to have actually just made up the url links like okay that one does work that top one is a made up link so it's kind of useless because it's just made up the information and then the next two are on the same page and i don't want to put two links on the same page so it's kind of a bit hit and miss for perplexity which is a bit frustrating i thought it would do a good job but clicking through it's not it's got into its stride eventually but like you'd need to double check this to make sure a rare perplexity hallucination doesn't happen now back over on our dashboard building our coding job uh perplexity is still working away it reckons it needs another 11 minutes but you can see it is coding stuff up in the uh the application here over on ChatGPT, we've actually got it going and it's given us a list. So we might be waiting a while for it to actually build the thing in this video. So I'll just show you the sort of thing that you can actually get a perplexity to build. You can see here, this was for uh, an, an investor dashboard off some numbers that we actually ran some deep research and built this dashboard. And you can see it builds us a nice sort of clickable best case worst case scenario dashboard here i love this like calculator good if you're making proposals and stuff sending work proposals that sort of thing you can build calculators in to see people spend more with your service how many benefits that how much benefit they're going to get market analysis so you can see the sort of dashboard anyway here that that you can build pretty pretty quickly with perplexity over on chat gpt we've actually now got this app this react app ai dashboard we could actually share this and create a link so that we can get it on full screen here we we'll pop that in our browser and we should be able to load our app so you could actually share this really easily across to different people it's fairly generic we didn't prompt it massively but like it's very black and white and again we've kind of just got this same table that it, it pointed out before with a few charts that aren't quite clear with our, our words and stuff so honestly actually perplexity probably did does you know on on dashboard building from information it probably actually does a better job often than chat gpt which probably needs a little more guidance in what you want things to occur we actually do have the perplexity app built now it didn't take as long as i thought and frequency range we've got this nice slideable bar at the top here it's just a bit more colorful and a bit it's just a bit more colorful and approachable and nicer laid out than, than chat gpt's one we've got this nice frequency trend different breakdowns as well so actually did a nicer job as i suspected in this type of dashboard reporting for stuff but honestly they both do a good job perplexity tends to research faster so if you're moving at pace then it's going to deliver some information for you quickly and in a more digestible format chat gpt might take its time actually check less sources but deliver maybe a more in-depth report that if you really want to get 
stuck into a project or your research, then that's going to provide more reading for you, more information, perhaps. Uh, for me, perplexity often wins in that I just want, just give me the cliff notes of what I need to know with citations so I can check that it's actually legitimate try to make stuff up a little bit less. If you want more information on these sorts of tools and how you can leverage them for your business, learn more about them, then check out these videos right here where I go even further in depth.